it is official. The bacteriophage discovered in the college's picturesque Cremdell by freshman biology students never has been seen before. The unique life form, named Crim D by the students who found it, is a virus that infects a bacterium. The students who dug it up were members of the research-oriented teaching lab led by biology professors Margaret Saha, Kurt Williamson, and Mark Forsyth. The trio were teaching courses on the genetics of bacteriophages under the sponsorship of the Science Education Alliance of the Howard Hughes Medical Institute. It actually happened all over campus. We sent the students out early in the semester with some rudimentary instructions as to what types of ecosystems, what types of habitats would be good for bacteria and the viruses that infect them, bacteriophage. And it was really kind of a learning experience for them to see if they could identify places where bacteria and their viruses would inhabit. And the students were remarkably successful. We found of the 30 students that participated in this, the vast majority of them isolated their own viruses. They came from places like the Crimdell, but they also came from mud puddles and construction sites, from little piles of trash that didn't quite make it into the dumpster outside of the dorm. Isolating the bacteriophage, of course, is about more than digging it up. What happens at the shine What virus? these bacteriophage do is infect a bacteria. So what we could do is take bacteria and spread them out on an auger plate. And when you spread out the bacteria, they'll form what we call a lawn. And it's turbid. You can't see through the plate when it's covered with a bacterial lawn. But when the bacteria are infected with a phage, the bacteria will lice sometimes, not always, but that's what we were looking for. When they lice, when they break open, that'll create a little clearing on this plate, and that clear area is called a plaque. Students examined their finds under electron microscopes. Samples were sent to Los Alamos, where their DNA was mapped. What they did was to isolate viruses specific to a soil bacterium called Mycobacterium smegmatis. In the course of their experiments, they raised these viruses that they've isolated to very high titer, in other words, to very high numbers, so that they can do a couple of characterizations, a couple of important characterizations of them, one of which is to look at the genomic DNA of these various viruses. No virus that any, of the, that any student isolated had ever been isolated before, as near as we could tell. The students were not the only ones who were excited about their participation in this somewhat exclusive national project. <laughs> when we were first isolating the viruses, and we'd come in and look in, I mean, we, Margaret and I would run to the incubator before the students went to see if we had plaques on the plates. And like the first time we saw plaques, it's like we, Margaret was jumping up and down and screaming. Uh, yeah, we. <laughs> We really like this stuff. When we saw those first plaques, I mean, it was just so exciting because we didn't know if any of these soil samples would give anything, total unknown. So it was kind of scary, too, because then it's like, what do we do for the rest of the year if we don't even get any plaques? Saha said the project could not have happened without the vision of the HHMI. Forsyth said it was able to happen at a higher level due to the vision behind the college's new integrated science center. It is an example, they said, of how research can be done. The great thing about this is this is authentic discovery research, and it really blurs the line, the artificial line, in my mind, between teaching and research. Every week was a surprise. We didn't know when we would get the finished genome. They said we would get it at the beginning of January. Well, that didn't happen. We just got it. But this is the way real research happens. We have our final finish and polished genome from JGI. Based on the data we've got, our genome is circular, and it's about 60,000 base pairs long. Yeah. So now we can really roll up our sleeves and get down to work.